Hey, hey, everybody! It's the 2022 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon. I'm Argleflump, playing Danger on Deception Island. Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. So I am going to play on Junior Detective mode. I, I could probably beat it on Senior Detective, but I am going to play on Junior Detective mode because I haven't prepped this game ahead of time. There might be a tricky puzzle, which I've forgotten the solution to. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Bess arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. I really love the music in this Katie? game. It's great. Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh! What happened? Someone tore the place apart! The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Alright, so that's the mystery. Nancy's on vacation. Nancy goes on vacation and accidentally uncovers a mystery. Somebody destroyed Katie's boat. Are you gonna be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, you'd better call the sheriff. We better call the sheriff. Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. What? What? But it's a crime! But this is a crime! It needs to be reported. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Fantastic. Nancy is all unpacked now. And let's see, I am... I think this is just random stuff from other games in the Nancy Drew series. We've got Nancy's mom jeans. Do we have her mom jeans in here? Yep, we've got her mom jeans, we've got her horse t-shirt, we've got tokens from the Haunted Carousel. And let's see, we can make Katie a sandwich. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Okay, so our sandwich is going to have tomatoes, and ice cream, and anchovies. Somebody wants me to feed her disgusting stuff like, ooh, jellyfish, old mayonnaise, and we'll feed the sandwich to Katie. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. What do you mean? This orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago, and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a $1,000 fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. 
Some people don't like that idea. The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. But the fishery service has the last word? They've asked me to monitor her physical condition while they study their data and decide what to do. But personally, I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. See you in a bit. Have fun. So basically, Katie was a big jerk at the town meeting last night, and that's why somebody destroyed her boat. Everybody doesn't like her now. What's up? Do you not want a sandwich? See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Well, I was gonna offer you a sandwich, but if you don't want a sandwich, then that's okay by me. Fine. Fine. This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Stop meddling or else, you meddling kids! <laughs> Oh no, it's a Scooby-Doo villain! Uh-oh. Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. I'd better tell Katie her GPS is broken. Oh no, broken GPS? Aww. So this game was made before all phones had a built-in GPS. Okay. Okay. That must be it. What's up? I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. Alright, so we need to meet Holt Scotto. We also want to check out this puzzle here. It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet, too. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. Alright, so... I think this is an easy enough puzzle. I'm trying to remember it. Oh no, I think that was it though. That piece. No? gonna keep trying this piece even though the game keeps saying no all right um this one then oh no well there aren't that many pieces which can connect to this one that doesn't go there that doesn't go there wow okay maybe i need to like rotate the pieces Ah! That doesn't go there. Is it this large one? I don't know why I'm doing so badly at this puzzle. That doesn't go there. Hmm. <laughs> right click the pipe pieces. Okay, so if you back away and come back, the game forces you to restart the puzzle. That looks right. I'm just gonna try every piece which might fit. There we go, that's one. Found it. That looks right. Found the match. Alright. Took me long enough. That looks right. The pipes have to go around that thing in the center. See those two things, the red thing and whatever that one is? I believe that's the idea behind this puzzle. That looks right. I could be wrong. That looks right. That looks right. Got it. The pipe's all fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. Yes, Nancy... <laughs> Nancy is now a plumber. And we just got the, um, Andy Jason... Andy Jason's calling card. What's up? Who's Andy Jason? 
Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Alrighty. Let's let's leave now. There's a piece of paper inside. Maybe it's a message. That's odd. Rosebud. Oops. Katie said I shouldn't use her kayak without a GPS. Aw, oh, come on, Nancy. I'm sure you can figure out your way without getting super lost. It's just it's just a GPS. It's not that complicated, I think. Let's start by going to the lighthouse. Yuck! I'm not picking them up. Yucky fish. These are big. I already have some rocks. These rocks are great for just throwing. Let's see. I'm not sure we can solve that puzzle yet. But here's a puzzle we should be able to solve. SS. Maybe this broke off from a ship. There's something in that bottle, but it's stuck on those rocks. Let's see if we can figure this out. So, super power this angle. Ooh, that looked really good, though. Not as super power that angle. Oh, come on. Hmm. That still looked like a good angle. That, that power? I already have some rocks. This is just a rock skipping puzzle. We need to get the rocks. We need to knock this thing out. So what about this, this angle? Well, that was a big nothing. Come on, hmm. Nancy, you can do it. Oh dear. I already have some rocks. So, I kind of like this flat one. Like, strong angle. Hmm. No. Hmm. Nancy's just terrible at skipping rocks, I'm afraid. Yeah, I just... Hmm, I, I think it's gonna be this flat rock. And I still want to do it like high power, right? That just looks so hmm. good. I don't understand why that didn't work. Ah, uh, let's try different angles, high power. Got it! Okay. Second angle was the answer. Yay! And you need to remember to wear your helmet. Because if you don't wear your helmet, Nancy will crash. And that will be very, very sad. So let's go to Whale World! Whales rule! It's just great. It's just great music. So here's Andy Jason! Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Hi, Andy. Love your hair. Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? <laughs> Love your giant muscles. And I'm not talking about the clam stuff on the wall, sir. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. 
So you consider yourself to be a friend of Katie's? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. <laughs> I'll be your friend if you sell me your entire life business. You mean if she'd just accept your offer? I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition. Which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. Oh, well that's unfortunate for you, I suppose. Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers! As many as she can safely fit! Okay, that seems kind of unethical that she makes a deal with the fishery services and then exploits that to make lots of money. What do you think should be done with the orca out there? Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Well, you know what? That, that's, that's true. People do have a hard time working along and getting, getting along and working together. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. Well, it's good for you. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. Hmm. I thought he would put up more of an argument to that sly accusation, but I guess not. Would you laugh if I told you I found some kind of message in a bottle? Welcome to the club. Just about everybody around here has found one. Rumor has it our semi-resident nutcase, Hilda Swenson, is trying to tell us something. Who's Hilda Swenson? Go talk to Jenna over at the hot kettle. That lady hears all, sees all, and is usually real willing to tell all. She can tell you about those messages. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Whales rule! Alright, so, I mean, check out his prices. Like, $30 for a whale watching tour? I would take that, sure! Why not? Why not? Wow, that's a beauty. Wow, we have a very fancy ship in a bottle. We have stuff for sale. Miss, please don't touch that. Oh, fine, I won't touch it. And what is this? This is like a Whale World uh, video game station. Looks like I need a key card to play. Andy, I need a tea. Uh, uh, I need some tea. Do you have any tea? Oh, man. Hi, Nancy. Some Earl Grey would hit the spot. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here. A guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. Someone in the chat does have a, a good point. Nancy should ask, Hey Andy, why was your business card found inside the ruins of Katie's boat? Was Benjamin Hawkins a sailor? This historian who was in here once said he was pretty sure that was a model of a pirate ship. So now I tell people Hawkins was a pirate. But like most of the settlers around here, he was probably just a farmer. Wow, you, you just make up lies to drum up business. Maybe that's why you don't get as much business as Katie. I was about to say, Katie's a very honest person and you're not, but uh, Katie can't be all that honest if she made that deal with the government and, and is exploiting it. So I don't know who to trust in this game. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won. And it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. Woohoo! Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Whales rule! 
well, oh, this is so much better than the Haunted Carousel. <laughs> where we, we had to get a new fun card after every five times. But this this one, we don't... We don't need a new fun card every five times. We can play the games over and over again. Yum! 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 Uh-oh. Yum! So we're basically Yum. playing whack-a-mole with uh, the, the Yum. fish. Yum. The orca. Yum. Feed the whales! Yum. Whales rule! Yum! 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 Yeah! I got 20! Woo! And good, I did Feeding Frenzy. We need to do all four of them. And that gives us a fancy thing on the Whale of Fortune! This is the tough one, though. This is the one you have to remember stuff. Throughout the center, you've been able to hear the sounds different cetaceans make. To see just how good your memory is, press a button, listen to the sound that plays, then press the button of the cetacean that made the sound. If you've made a correct match, the button lights will stay on. When all the buttons are lit, you've matched them all. Cetacean. I'm a cetacean sensation. All right, so number one. No idea what that is. Humpback whale, maybe? It's a very long sound effect. Nope. Wrong. Okay, what's number two then? Is that the humpback? Yay, number two is a humpback. Porpoise? Nope. Ah. Uh. Nope. Minky? Let's guess number one again. It's got to be one of these three. I don't think it's killer whale, so let's go with gray whale. Yes. And then two's humpback. That's the killer whale. Yeah, we hear the orca say that later on in the game. So that means number five must be the doll's porpoise. Woo! Never a doll moment next. And... You can read about these fun animal facts. Like humpback whales average about 43 feet in, 43 feet in length. It can weigh from 25 to 35 tons. It's very, very heavy. Let's play this game. Let's play it on easy mode, shall we? This is kind of fun. You need to just catch all the animals while not getting attacked by those giant squid. Looks like there are sharks as well. I believe this game is just random. You just have to get lucky. How many points am I going for? I've already forgotten. Maybe 20,000. Come on, Orca buddy. You could do it. Yay! 20,000! We did it! And now we've got trivia questions. Um... That's the name for... It's not the... Is it the gray whale? No. Which can swim the fastest? Orca? No. Some animals have been trained because they are extremely intelligent. Orcas are called killer whales because they kill and eat other whales, I think. Yes. 
How many blowholes does a baleen whale have? Two? Yes. Minky whales have dorsal fins shaped like a triangle? Wrong. The diet of baleen whales consists mostly of small fish and plankton. The throat of the baleen whales are always grooved. A baleen whale is all of the above. Toothed whales do not possess, well, teeth. But that's all of the above. Wait, no. Toothed whales do have teeth. That's why they are called toothed whales. Sorry, that was exactly wrong. Um, individual orcas are identified by the markings on their bellies, I think. Wrong! The lean whale eats food through just sucking up water. Orcas travel in pods. Got it! Woohoo! So, we have solved the puzzle. Let's see what we win on the Wheel of Fortune. T-shirt, 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 T-shirt. Woo! I won the whale watching tour. All right! Woohoo! I got a whale watching tour. Woo! Hi, Nancy. I won a free whale watching tour. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. Yeah, because you don't have any other customers right now. I'm ready when you are. Thank you for the great tour and for letting me use your camera. My pleasure. That was so cool. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Whales rule! All right, man. Yeah, we got to see the orca and everything. It is orcatastic. Now let's go to the Hot Kettle Cafe. Get to meet we get to meet a bunch of characters here uh well just two of them we've got jenna and old man scotto hang on i'll be right with you actually i'm looking for someone named holt scotto so what do you want <laughs> i'm holt scotto hey holt i'm nancy drew katie firestone said i might be able to find you in here well you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is are you is that what you think katie is her true colors came out real clear last night us fishermen don't count all that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there to heck with people trying to make a living of course is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale why no her business is booming now ain't that the oddest thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy also indicated that Katie is just selfishly manipulating the situation. But it's not all just roses and skittles for her. Her boat was just destroyed. She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor. Home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the snake horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Oh, great. So uh, if we don't solve the case, we'll be eaten by a sea monster. Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. 
<laughs> Little did they know. Someone is pointing out that Katie, Katie did spend a lot of time complaining about how she doesn't have any money. She can't afford more insurance and she can't afford more boat parts. So maybe her business is not as booming as everyone believes it is. So it wasn't the snake horse? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. He'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense, instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. All right, so he is so mad about this orca situation, he's actually running for office. That's kind of amazing, and I'm getting distracted by those bottles on the wall. I'm trying to read what it says. So the third from the left is cherry, and then that's got to be caramel next to it, I believe. But I don't know what those other ones are. They're, they're clearly like some sort of fruit flavoring. So maybe it's like blue raspberry? I don't know. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. Tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? Oh, I, I bet he's got like those workout materials or probably like a towel or something. I feel like maybe he plays racquetball? Why am I getting the feeling I'm not going to like this? This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. And that would be me? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. See you around. Yo ho ho. Definitely a crossword puzzle in there. Yeah, maybe, maybe, actually I think it's a chess puzzle. Hey, stay out of there. Sorry. Yeah, I definitely would say it's a chess puzzle he's got. Okay, and let's just solve his puzzle. I think we can no. figure it out. That looks right. I don't remember what the fine is. Um, quartz? Good. Yes. Vote for Holt. Correct. Not. Not. Um. Not. Am I smarter? Woohoo! Figured it out. Now I just need to figure out what the fine for clamming is, and then I'll be all set. That is all just memory, by the way. I'm just remembering from previous times I've played this game. So definitely, definitely a somewhat tough quiz, but I guess it makes sense. Nancy's just kayaking though, she's not like sailing or anything. 138.43. Perfect. Very good. Nope. No, 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 I went fisherman here. Perfect. Um, wow, I'm totally blanking on what kind of knot that is. We're going to have to go back to Katie's for help on that one. Sorry, everyone. And we are going to have to go to Lighthouse anyway, so let's go. Nancy is very, very, 
Nancy has high self-esteem, which she should because she can solve so many great mysteries. She does feel really good about herself when she's like, ha 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 ha, hey, I know, I know, uh, it's perfect. Okay, we need a male crab. That is definitely a female crab. That is not a male crab. I need some male crabs over here. I think there's a rock. Um, was there a big rock here that had a crab? Got it. Male crab! Thank you. I didn't show off the clue for male crabs. Whoops, I I'll show that off in a moment. But for now, let's get in trouble. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out. Which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just... Now. Where did he come from? Anyway, okay, everybody's saying it is the bend nod. That should do it. Thank I you. I have to bring him a male Dungeness crab? Thank you, thank you, livestream chat. And I already have the crab, Nancy. Why are you asking that? Silly Nancy. Go! Yeah, so Holt refuses to let Nancy do anything cool here. Thanks, Holt. Let's just go back to the Holt... Uh, the Hot Kettle Cafe. <laughs> I accidentally said Holt Kettle Cafe. Well, he practically lives there. They might as well name the place after him. He does manage to get there before Nancy, so I imagine either he can fly like a superhero, or he's just really good at jogging. You again? You were right to yell at me up there at the lighthouse. So what do you want? I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free. I'll take care of the crab for you. I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow the instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. See you around. Vote for Holt. Spread the word. Vote for Holt. All right, so I think the crab thing is here. Here's a female crab. Here's a male crab. That's how you tell the difference between the Dungeness crabs. And, you know, this is apparently a postcard. This is a postcard. Fantastic. Wouldn't you want to send your uh, relatives a postcard with biology lessons? In Washington State, only male Dungeness crabs may be harvested. You've got to leave the females alone, okay? That's the law. Each flag stands for a letter of the alphabet, and so do those words. Interesting. I'm going to take a picture of this because I know this is for a puzzle later on, and I don't have the, 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 the flags memorized. I kind of have the... The numbers, not the numbers, the, the words memorized, because we had to do that in 8th grade. Totally useless. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Epsilon, no, 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 not Epsilon. Is it Epsilon? Yeah, no. Echo, Fox, Shark, Golf, Hotel, India. Um, I know it's Romeo and Juliet, so J, Juliet, K, Kilo, L, Lima, M, Mike, N, November, O, Oscar, hmm. P, Papa. This is a puzzle. We, we need to make a royal flush, but I, I need to remember... Hmm. Are these hearts, maybe, that we're making a flush with? So it looks like it, it's either heart, spade, or diamond. Let's go with heart. That's just what I'll do. I'll try to make a royal flush with hearts. Yes, give me that ace. No! Oh man, is there another heart here? No, there is not. So let's try diamonds then. No, no diamond there. Um. 
spades. Let's try spades. I made a royal flush. Woohoo! That is exactly what I was trying to do. Yeah, so I need to do all four of the royal flushes, and that's that's how we solve the puzzle. Can I read one of these books? A book on sea monsters. Very cool. Awesome. So this is about Cad Borosaurus. Woo, look at Caddy. Looks like a camel. That that last picture looked pretty awesome, by the way. Let me show this off. It's like a dinosaur fighting another sea shark or something. Very scary. Let's go with the clubs for this one. I don't see any other um, ones on that far left. I made a royal flush. Woohoo! And then this one. Hmm. So I already did clubs and hearts. Let's go with diamonds. I made a royal flush. Great, great. All right, so let us check out this thing. So the dead fish I saw on the beach were Atlantic herring? Jenna, it was good to visit you last month. I love that clam chowder. Can you give me your clam chowder? I want extra clam chowder. Thank you, Kim. Let's look at these recipes. Yeah, they're, they're mostly like sodas, not sodas. Coffee, lots of coffee and world famous clam chowder. What can I get for you, Nancy? Well, for starters, you could tell me your name. Jenna Devlin, sorry. My aunt didn't warn me when she left me this place that I'd be inheriting her knack for eavesdropping, too. How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. Ouch. Everybody in this town really hates Katie. Your condolences? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. You mean, like the whale? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy's science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Okay, you were the one who brought it up, Miss Angry. What can you tell me about Hilda Swenson? She was this lady who retired here with her husband about 20 years ago. They made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer-producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people. Very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years. But then, out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well, she pretty much died then too. What do you mean? She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. And now she uses notes in bottles to communicate with people? Trouble is, nobody can understand what she's trying to say. All she ever writes is letters and numbers and that one word, Rosebud. I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week, and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her, she won't answer. Rosebud. Did she ever leave anything behind that might help decode her messages? She left everything behind. Problem is, it's all been sold, given away, or thrown out. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of hers. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. Alrighty. So Hot Kettle Cafe, they do have the clam chowder and uh, the, the muffins. Definitely worth the upgrade for the bowl. 
I would say. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on. That's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. All right, we get a free sample. Yum, yum. Is Andy Jason in here now by any chance? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. Yeah, how does he own the money? Okay, so everybody in town is having money problems, and everyone in town doesn't like each other. Oh, alright then. So, we can get either clam chowder or a muffin. I have a, a, a poll going on right now. I'll wait until we reach 50 votes. Nope, oh, 61 votes! Wow! Jeez, 61 votes, we've got 51% clam chowder, 49% muffin. So let's see what the official results are. YouTube telling me. Um, muffin, 50%, clam chowder, 49%. That doesn't equal 100%, but whatever. Muffin, everyone! Instead of the chowder, do you think I could try one of those muffins? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house, too. Oh, sweet! Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? You again? I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of dead Atlantic herring on the beach earlier today. Is that possible? Nope. You may have seen Pacific herring, but not Atlantic herring. No way. Why is it so impossible? Because Atlantic herring are found only in the Atlantic. Trust me, I spent five years fishing for them. We'd catch them by the hundreds, freeze them, and sell them to aquariums and such. To aquariums? You mean to feed to other fish? Or to sea mammals? Of course! What else would they do with them? Bring them back to life and put them on exhibit? Look, I don't know how it is where you're from, but up here seeing two dead fish on a beach isn't exactly front page news. Let it go. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Did you know Hilda Swenson? Sure did. She even crewed for me a couple of times. There she was, this itty bitty lady in her 60s hauling in nets. Did it for the sheer love of adventure. She was quite a gal. See you around. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I love Holt and his, his laid back attitude. It's great. So we're going to go to Katie's boat at this point. And we are going to go kayaking. Might as well talk to Katie while we're here, though. What's up? Hey, Katie, it sounds like everybody in town hates you. Care to comment? I talked to Jenna Deblin when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Do you two not like each other or something? She doesn't like me, that's for sure. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. I saw a boat in a bottle at Andy Jason's place. He said it was made by a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. As a matter of fact, I've done some research on Hawkins. He settled here in the mid-1800s, lived in a cabin where the lighthouse is now. Why are you doing research on him? Some of the things I heard about him got my curiosity going. For instance, he apparently had a major feud going with some sea captain. Hawkins would see the guy sail on the horizon, grab his family and all his valuables, and go into hiding for days. Interesting. So that's sort of the reason why there are secret hiding spots all over the islands. This guy built them. What was the feud about? Nobody knew. Rumor had it that the sea captain was an ex-pirate, which might explain why Hawkins hid. But where he hid is still a mystery. And the important thing to talk to her about is that random piece of wood we found near the lighthouse. I found this piece of wood on the beach. 
There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time, but if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. See you in a bit. Have fun. Yep, so we're going to have a big puzzle with him. Let me go kayaking first. So I think we find two bottles while kayaking. I just can't remember where the other bottle is. Woo! And you definitely need your GPS, otherwise you'll get lost. This is your GPS. Alright, so I can't go forward here. Oh wait, maybe there's a bottle in the caves. Maybe that's it. Ah, we've got rocks. Nancy, just maneuver around the rocks. No, that wasn't... Ah, that wasn't it. Okay. I'm trying to reach the caves by the lighthouse. Guess I'd better stay away from there. Oh, fine. Goody two-shoes. There we go. Here in the caves. It's kind of nice. Going around in the caves. There's the bottle. Found it. Maybe the messages are coordinates. And Nancy has solved the puzzle. Didn't take her very long. So, coordinates. Looks like we're going to have to read the yellow ones first. 45. No, 48, 42, 517. 48. 42, 517. Then west, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, six, six, fifteen. Oh, six, six. Oh, six, oh, six. What did I get wrong? Oh, eight, six, fifteen. Sorry. Oh, eight. 6.15. And Nancy just found a hidden beach! Woohoo! You think everybody would recognize those as coordinates just because everybody has a boat and a GPS, right? I mean... It, that looks like it, especially because pretty much all the coordinates start with like 48 or West 123. I've never been to this beach before. It's a top secret beach. And it gives us this. Rosebud. Okay, this is why I took that picture. Let's see what Rosebud is. R is this one. O. S. And then E. B, U, D. So that's Rosebud. From Hilda Swenson. Congratulations! I hope you enjoyed finding this thing because you and I are just getting started. See, I've got a secret. Well, two actually, but I don't believe in just handing things to... to folks, even on a... Wait. Send me something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code? Isn't that the... Okay, I'm trying to read. I don't believe on handing things to folks on a silver platter. That's no fun. Isn't the way life works, either. To get anywhere in this world, you've got to get out there and be curious. you got to ask questions and make things up till you get 
answers, or shake things up so you get answers. And I know you're curious, or you wouldn't be find you wouldn't be reading this. So what I want you to do now is send me something from the top of this lighthouse in Morse code. As for what I want you to send me, read the little story I've enclosed. That'll get you started. The story makes no sense, you say? Well, you got into this chest, didn't you? Anyway, eventually you'll find the answer to my first secret, and as for my other secret, if you're smart and I have a sneaking suspicion you are, you'll figure it out along the way. Something is fishy in Snake Horse Harbor. Something is fishy in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, and by the way, no funny stuff because I'll be watching you the whole time like a creepy person. Hilda. I don't know what all those letters mean, but something tells me this may come in handy. This is the weirdest story I've ever read. Yeah, so you need to get the letters. So Alpha was A, and then Sierra is S, and then Kilo was K, according to that chart. So far, so good. Nancy's taking a long time. She's like, oh, I'm just gonna start humming there. in the middle of nowhere. Ta-da! Ask H-S-A-J-J-D for Hilda's gift. Ask Holt, Andy, and Jenna for Hilda's gift. Woohoo! So, that's gonna be our next thing. We need to get a gift from all of those people. All those people have some sort of gift. And they won't just hand over the gift to you, right? They're, they're gonna want uh, you to solve a puzzle first. Let's see, I think I turned right here to reach Jenna's. Not Jenna's. Katie's. Hooray! And let's call that library person. Not right now. What do you mean, not right now? Yes, right now. Yes, right now. Yes, 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 right now. I guess we can go inside. Looks like whatever's in here is starting to defrost. Hmm. Not a very good cooler if it's starting to melt, I suppose. So now we can call him. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone? Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well then, what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well, then it came from a ship. Or should I say, shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? Plywood? You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. Excellent. So now we get the wood puzzle. Yeah, somebody's saying the, the, the stuff is defrosting because the power's out. But that's not true because the laptop is on. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Let me see. Could we say... I don't know if the power's on or not. Nancy, it could be that... Oh, hey, look, it's this art. I love that Rottweiler art. Anyway, uh, it could be that Nancy just has fantastic computer batteries and the power is totally out. Her computer just stays on for hours and hours and hours and hours. And let's do the book on Apparently wood puzzle. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. I do love the fuzzy dice. That's nice. Okay, what's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? 
Ugh, this puzzle. Okay, um, let's see if we can solve it. Oh no, we're already failing this one. I'm just having a hard time dropping any books down. I feel like here, yeah, this puzzle, whew. The refrigerator is on, that is true. The refrigerator is on. So, I don't know. I don't know if we have power or not. These are, these are the mysteries that Nancy will not be trying to solve. Let's see, if Nancy could rotate these books here, they would fit perfectly. But alas, she does not. books fit there and then I move this over to give myself more up and down room but now I don't have sideways left and right room so more up and down room here oh come on ah this is this is basically just Tetris yeah our, uh, it, you know, we, we have this puzzle in a lot of Nancy Drew games. Um, Legend of the Crystal Skull and Curse of Blackmore Manor with plants. Why don't I get this one in a corner, this really long one? just a bit too tall. But, I mean, we need to have books fit in there, right? That looks good. This is the worst. Okay. There are multiple solutions to this puzzle. I don't know if that helps to say that. And I can't find a single one. Like if these, if this one could go like also up in the top, that would be great. done this. <laughs> oh, man. This is gonna take me forever, isn't it? One last try. I, I guess... I don't know. One last try, and then I look up the solution. Do you guys want me to look up the solution, or just keep going with the failure until I figure it out? That actually looks really good there on this, this, this looks really good here on the left. How's that? That looks great. But then what goes in this up-down area? Is this tall enough to fit? Because this fits, but then it leaves a little spot up, you know, below. Yeah, 
Everybody says no. Don't look it up. Well, two people said that. They're like, we're fine, sir. You can just keep failing. It, your, 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 your pain is our pleasure. That doesn't look right. Okay, what if I put these these large books go there? If that looks probably correct. And then It's like yeah, these big ones just don't don't quite fit. I trying to go for? Is I trying to go for this? Yes. No. Nope. Yeah, if there's only one, some way, like, turn these books sideways or something, or, or, or get it wrong. Okay. No, darn. Yeah, I keep running into this where I'm stuck. Yeah. Okay, I'll, uh, this is why I don't, um, give me a moment here. Had this. Have that. If I do it like that, there's nothing to go in this spot, which is unfortunate. I feel like if I have this in that spot, that leaves a little space up top, which is not good. Tiniest of spaces. Kitty's books. Yeah. All right, let's see the book solution. It indicates... A solution would be this in the upright, and then red book next to it. And then this big thing here. Alrighty. See if this works. And that's another nice um, right hand side. Okay, so now let's see if I can figure out this left hand side there. With that solution in place. It's gotta be this, right? Please. Okay, that wasn't the correct solution, but it worked anyway, because you'll notice once I got the books down, they all switched spots. Oops. Whatever. Complex morphological issues, microscopic tracheid analysis, microtome surfacing? That was the junior mode version of the puzzle. Yes, the junior mode version of the puzzle. I believe in senior mode, that, that really long thing 
the one that goes left and right and stretches out the farthest horizontally, I believe that's split into two pieces on senior mode. Oh, I don't know if this book is for me, but maybe if I give Dr. Predovicu a call, she can help me out. She offers free wood consultation on the phone. Yes, she does. Hi, Dr. Predovicu. Nice to meet you, Predovicu. I wish we got victory music there. This is there. Dr. Predovicu. Yeah. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. Oops, I better go do that. I'll call you right back. Nancy doesn't have a camera phone yet, I see. One slice of wood. One glass slide. There. This is gonna look so cool under the microscope. Let's have a look. Woo! Alrighty. So, small holes, all the same size everywhere. Brown, reddish brown, you would say? That's gonna be the puzzle, so let's do this. Irina Predovicu speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. I've got the sample all ready. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Yeah, <laughs> Nancy should have been able to look through the microscope without hanging up the phone. That is true. Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. Okay, and the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Excellent. So, now let's just call Casey. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before, about the driftwood. Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor, I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. Alrighty, thank you, Casey Crazy. Let's go. We need to ask everybody for... their presents. Everybody got a present. So let's go get these presents. Yeah, I, I mean, people are, are saying it would be cool if Nancy could just take a picture of the wood and send it to the doctor. But on the other hand, it is. Does that work with a microscope? Can you use your phone to take a picture through a microscope lens and will it still come out all microscopic? I'm not sure if that's possible. I haven't been around microscopes enough to, to test it out. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? 
It's kind of a long story, but I'd really love to see that necklace. Problem is, my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. Why don't I go clamming for you? Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. But you'll also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. You know, that muffin I had before was really awesome. Say no more. Mmm, that was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. Microscopic photography works best with a special attachment. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? All right. Well, we learned something today. If you ever want to take a selfie with a microscope, don't. That's a bad idea. You again? I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something? So what if she did? Do you think I could see it? Tell you what, this chest problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here, solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. Feel free to look at the chest book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. So why does Andy issue permits? Good question. I don't know why he's the permit guy. Oh, and this is poker, in case you didn't know what a royal flush was. I already knew that, though. <laughs> and here's the code for the lighthouse. 3470-something. Alright, so, we need to move a piece. Um, white can move the king? Wrong. No. Wrong. 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 Good. It's the queen. Okay, I need to move the queen. I think that's this one. To space... A1? Huh. I don't know math. This isn't a math puzzle. Which one's the queen? Here's the queen. Okay, the queen can move in diagonal. So if we're moving Miss... Which one's the queen again? The queeny crown. So we can move her anywhere in that diagonal. So let's... Just go straight up and down. Huh. Huh. No, okay. Huh. Huh. No, C8. Huh. And she can also move to G8. Huh. Oh, man. This is chess. I'm not a chess master. How should I know this? Correct. Queen moves to d6. So black would move here. I mean, I'm sure if I knew more about chess, that would make sense why black moved there. But I don't get it. Perfect. So now I'm going to move queen again. And I'm going to move her to the king there. Oh... Yes! There! Checkmate! I moved the queen forward, and... Game over, I guess. Alright! Yay! Math! I'll have to remember 3, 4, 7, 5, 2. That sounds like a thing worth remembering. Done with that chess problem yet? Check it out! Right as rain! And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handle's made of scrimshaw. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. One bum. All right, he is the number one bum in town. That's what I like to think of it. <laughs> Like, why else would she write one bum? Alrighty, Will World. Will's rule. Hi, Nancy. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you? Ordinarily you could, but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kinda busy right now. Of Course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... What? Dude, do your job. I don't need to do your job for you. What kind of help do you need? Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule!
Alrighty then. He told us not to touch this earlier, but now he totally wants us to touch it. Nah. We are going to make this puzzle. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Good. Woohoo! Good. Yes. Good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Sure, what nah. goes there? Okay, Nancy, I got it. I was wrong. Nah. 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 Good. That's a neck piece. Nah. I think this is a flipper. Hmm. I think it's upside down. Hmm. Hmm. Just need to figure out one of these connecting pieces. Good. Got it. Nah. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. That looked pretty good, but nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Hmm. Maybe this piece goes here. Good. Excellent. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Hmm, yeah, this is tough. Good. Got it. Hmm. I still feel like that would be a giant belly piece, but maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Good. Got that. Good. Okay, I had it in the right spot, just not as high up as the game particularly wanted. Hmm. Alrighty. Nah. Maybe nah. that's the flipper piece. Hmm. Good. Yes. Bingo. Wow, am I a creative genius or what? Woohoo! Alrighty! Great, great, great. Okay, I am a genius, yes. I I can put pieces together. Hi, Nancy. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. If you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. B -b 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 why That's not fair! Now why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head? Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Fantastic. Let's head on out. Tren. Wonder what that means. I have no idea why it says Tren. Now, I thought, you know, because Holt says one bum, Andy's obviously was going to say one loser, right? We're just trying to keep up with this theme here. trying to remember. Do we just clam everywhere until Do we clam everywhere until we're done or does Nancy say no something here. when we're finished clamming on this particular beach? I don't see any clamming holes. 
tools here. I already have some rocks. Might as well just grab some rocks for no reason whatsoever. Got another one! Hooray! So that's two. Ooh, there's a hole. Ew, it's gross. Be nice if, uh, what do you call it? When a clam hole's completely finished, the game just took it off, so like I couldn't zoom in on it. That doesn't appear to be the case with these clam holes. Looks like you can visit the same clam hole over and over again, maybe. Also, those rock piles are totally messing with my glam holes. Uh, the clams, where are they? Yeah, I'm not finding any. Um, maybe I just need to leave and come back. Those are definitely those dead fish on the beach. Aha! Here's one. Ooh, boy. Yeah, this is taking forever, isn't it? Let's go to the hidden beach. The hidden beach has more clams. Okay, everybody's saying there are four clams we get from there. Four clams from that one beach. All right, well. Let's, let's, let's do that. I've only gotten half of the clams from this beach. It's a dead fish. Still gross. Like, I think those are clams, but those are just rocks. Aha! Got it. Left hand side clam there. That's not a clam. Here. No clams here. Ah! Got it. Four clams here. So does that mean we're all done with the clams? Honestly? I don't see any more clams. Maybe I should look somewhere else for a while. There we go. Nancy confirms we're finished with clamming there. All right. So that is that's the answer to my question of whether or not Nancy says we we have uh, all the clams or not. Well, we do have the secret beach. That's the only other beach. So yeah. Aha! Here. Five down, ten to go. That's a lot of clams. Malone's bones? That's not a clam! Pretty, but not a clam. To imagine Hilda's watching Nancy right now, wondering what Nancy is doing. Well, I'm more than halfway there. Woohoo!
That was a well-disguised clam hole. Like that one right there. We have some rocks in the distance, so I believe we can reach those rocks. Let's see, so those clam holes I just dug up are gone. I can't dig them up anymore. I see. That's nice. That way I won't waste my time, um, I guess, digging up where I can't dig. Alright, so I think that basically confirms how the, the, the whole clamming thing works, is, uh... You know, we've got to dig out all the holes. Wasn't there a hole here? I swore there was one right here that I was just doing. Ah, and here's a puzzle. This is a jumping puzzle. <gasps> well, that this didn't work. This is the Drew residence. Please <laughs> leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. It's Nancy. To make a long story short, I slipped on some rocks and have to come home. Could you please pick me up from the airport tonight? It's flight 323. Oh, and bring a couple of ice packs and some clean bandages. And you should probably rent a wheelchair, too. See you soon. Yeah, this puzzle's not the best. It's sort of random guessing. I think I'm gonna go right. Right? Yeah, let's go right. And that doesn't look safe. We already slipped on that, so I'm gonna go right again. Uh, this looks pretty safe. And that looks pretty safe as well. No clams here. Ow, phooey. Got it. There you are, my pretty. It's creepy, Nancy. Don't do that. And how do I reach the other beach? This doesn't look like I can turn left or right here. All I can do is U-turn. So maybe I try to jump over here on the right-hand side. Nope, that's exactly where I was. So let's try the left-hand side. No. Hmm. I can't keep track of how many clams I've got. Definitely feels like Nancy should be able to jump over there to that side of the beach, though, right? <laughs> nope, that doesn't work. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. It's Nancy. To make a long story short, I slipped on some rocks and have to come home. Could you please pick me up from the airport tonight? It's flight 323. Oh, and bring a couple of ice packs and some clean bandages. And you should probably rent a wheelchair, too. See you soon. Like, Nancy does have a kayak. She could use her kayak to reach this area. Okay, and jumping to that area doesn't work. This and is the we get to watch this Please death leave scene a message again. Hi, Hannah. It's Nancy. To make a long story short, I slipped on some rocks and have to come home. Could you please pick me up from the airport tonight? It's flight 323. Oh, and bring a couple of ice packs and some clean bandages. And you should probably rent a wheelchair, too. See you soon. There are no more, I guess, clam holes on that beach. I guess that's just it. Like, unless there's another place I could do jumping. Uh, there we go. Wait, these clam holes are back? No. Oh, looks like these clam holes here are back now. I've died a lot. Thirteen 
13 clams. I just need to find two more. All righty. Oops, that's not a clam. It's Malone's bones again. Well, then I don't know what the rules are for these clam holes. Maybe I don't they see just... any more clams. Maybe I should look somewhere else for a while. Maybe they just reappear after a while. And uh, Nancy says, look somewhere else for a while. Does she mean on that island there? Or does she mean she wants to go back to the, the lighthouse area? She means on the island here. All right, 15 clams. I'm all set. We did it, everybody. That took forever, but we did it. Hi, Katie. What's up? See you in a bit. Have fun. Okay, I guess there's nothing we can talk to her about. Is this thing melted yet? Not yet. Let's see, the lid says it's a portable cooler, right? Portable freezer, all right. All righty then. Don't know what I'm looking at here. There's where the orca is. Let's go back to Jenna. We're gonna go back to Jenna. She needs the clams. Hi, Nancy. Oh, good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The sheriff just left. Really? Was anything stolen? What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. Boat parts? Go figure. What's more, both doors were locked when I got here and none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did it. You know, it's possible that the sheriff missed something. If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. Arr! Nancy gets to explore in here. Fantastic. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. Doesn't everybody do all their shopping at Save King? I mean, why not? Alrighty, Dighty. Then we go over here and we saw this. Guess not this. all of them open. I guess it's this one then. What is this card thing? Good question. And Ira said it, and the others like it have been on the walls in here since the place was built. I, I think we have hearts this time. I think it's hearts this time. I could be wrong. Okay, that's one too many kings. Here we go. What was that? Solve this puzzle. I that's how those burglars got in here. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna need a flashlight. I won't let the lighthouse become a dark house. It needs to be light. Very lighty and such. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? Sorry. Do you have that necklace you said you'd go get? Well, sort of. My niece got hold of it last time she was out here and locked it up in some kind of toy box. 
It's on the table over there if you want to try to open it, because unfortunately, I can't. You know, that muffin I had before was really awesome. Say no more. Mmm, that was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, she... She just gives away free muffins whenever she she wants. Match pairs across all three screens. Oh yeah, this puzzle is easier on uh, junior mode. I'm not very good at it, but okay. Fish, ice cream, eggs, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Fish and fish. Egg and egg. Keek was up here, right? Got it. But we have to do it multiple times. Mm, more ice cream, yum. Let's see, um... Whew! I'm already forgetting everything. Okay, salt and pepper. Is that a tomato? Yes? Ow, oh, I had a streak going. Yes? Got it? Now number three. Hey, got one. Pineapple, pineapple. Lemon, lemon. Let's see if I can find the other sandwich. Alrighty. Yeah, these matching games. Fortunately, there's no time limit or anything to this matching game. You can take as long as you want. Got one. Done. It's beautiful. Ella, what kind of word is that? Alright, so we just solved the puzzle. Back to Katie's boat. Yeah, I, I haven't called Katie's... I, I haven't called Nancy's friends yet. Um, I don't know if we've got time for that. I, I have to leave in an hour, so I need to beat the game in under an hour. And guess what? We just triggered this storyline. Save King. Woohoo! Yay! Save King! I had no idea this was in the game, this story about Save King and such. But, you know, on my. I did an Everything Wrong With series of videos for the Nancy Drew games. And, um, got nasty comments on that video telling me, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's the Save King story in the game. You gotta do it, Michael. It answers some questions. I didn't know it was there. But Save King apparently matches with the Freezer storyline, and you have to look at the things specifically in Jenna's area for that. Hey, what's going on? To get the Save King. Sounds like you're making progress. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Mm-hmm. Jenna Deblin said some of the things that were stolen from her back room in that burglary were boat parts she'd bought at Save King. And? I noticed a box from Save King over there and just thought it was kind of an interesting coincidence. Everyone around here shops at Save King for boat parts and practically everything else. Any other questions? Yeah, see, you have to be mean and accuse Katie. That's not nice. Would you by any chance have a flashlight? I have a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. Would you like a sandwich? That would be awesome. Here's a sandwich for you. Great. 
Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. I don't feel so good all of a sudden. What did you put in that thing? Oh man, I don't feel good at all. You gave Katie food poisoning? No, I mean, not exactly. Something in the sandwich I made for her didn't agree with her. Where is she now? Outside, leaning over the rail and, you know. Gee, Nan, I've never given any of your friends food poisoning. I'm sure it was just an honest mistake. Give it another try, Nancy. Just go easy on the salmonella this time. Very funny. Whoops. Oh, well. Poisoned. Poisoned sandwich. Poor, poor Katie with her poisoned sandwich. So throw away the sandwich. Let's give her an ice cream sandwich. That is my favorite. What's up? Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. That was fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. It was right here in the engine compartment the whole time. Wah, wah. See you in a bit. Have fun. All right, so I did come here because I need to look up Morse code because I don't remember it. Oh yeah, let's do uh, the anagram buster. New anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Maybe I can use my handy dandy anagram buster to figure out what those strange words on Hilda's gifts mean. So those spell out Temple Nun be heard. The elm be rep noun. Then number elope. Well, the numbers are getting married, obviously. Telephone number. Maybe that's it. It's telephone number. It's telephone number. I am just joking. Okay, so where do we learn Morse code in this game? I do like Nancy's uh, task list. Well, this is helpful. Yeah, it automatically marks things off when they're done. That's super helpful. Okay, so we need to send the telephone number. Basically, we're sending the telephone number. I'll just look up what the Morse code is while we go to the lighthouse. Okay, got it. Oh, what was the code again? Uh oh! Nancy could die. Um, let's see. Do I look up? Look up to avoid Whoa, that death sequence. That was close. Three, four, seven, five was the code for here. like someone's been up here recently. Someone messy. Someone messy, yeah. Looks like the bulb's missing. Oh, darn, we have to solve this puzzle first. That's um, today. Yeah. I wonder why it's circled. I should do dots and dashes for the whole thing. Okay, so it's gonna be dot, 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 five, dot, dot, one, two, three, Hey, are you not? Five. Okay, got it. Two. Three. Five. 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 Five, five, five. And it's gonna be four. Four. Three. And then nine, nine. Okay, what is it? Dash, 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 dot. Nine. Okay. Nine. Nothing happens. Some part of the system must not be working. So that's because the uh, bulb is gone. So we're going to actually have to find two things to fix this bulb. So let's, uh, like I said, I, I've got to finish this game in under an hour. So let's, let me try to speed run this. Try to speedy, speedy, speedy. So I run around the outside, and then I go down here. I'm gonna find a bulb. I'm 
gonna solve this puzzle too hmm, while I'm at it. That's the There's obviously more to this, like the other half of the picture. That is, you just move up the top two pieces, and I think the correct one is this. I don't know if that's the correct bulb or not. The bulb is rusty though, so we are gonna have to do the second half of the caves challenge, which is back at Jenna's. We are sending Nancy's telephone number. We're not just sending some random phone number. Nancy's phone number is on her phone. Which I guess is helpful. Just gonna ignore those characters and zoom here. I believe the way we go is to the right, unless I'm mistaken. Go right, forward all the way. Hmm, a cairn. Wonder who and then made left. it. Another cairn. Whoops, not left. Right? Glad I'm wearing comfortable Got shoes, because it. it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. So right, forward, right. I'm um, going left here gives us the anvil rock puzzle. I feel like I've walked for miles. There's the item we need to fix that thing. To, to fix the lighthouse door. Did that sound? Where have I heard that sound before? And we lift those two up. That gives me access to that area down there, but I can't go up to the lighthouse. Since I came in through the tunnel, it looks like I can't get out through the lighthouse. That's unfortunate. Nancy has to walk all the way back through town. Poor Nancy. indicate where you can go up. This one leads to Jenna's area. Let me see if I can talk to Jenna about anything. Hi Nancy, how's it going? Did you know that there's a trap door in the floor of your banquet room? A trap door? No. Where does it go? There's a tunnel under it that dead ends at one end in this strange curved wall. A tunnel? I don't know anything about it. Maybe those stories about all those sailors getting shanghaied are true after all. Look, tunnels are dangerous. I don't want you going down there anymore. Oh no, I'll be fine. I mean it. Just forget about this whole thing. Only if you call the sheriff and tell him about it. No! Okay, look. I guess if you're real careful, you can keep poking around down there. But I don't want you telling anybody else about that tunnel without coming to me first. I got my reasons. I've also got work to do. Wow, I wonder what her reasons are. Why is she so secretive about her hidden tunnels? You again? See you around. Yo ho ho. <laughs> Holt doesn't have anything to talk about. All right. Yo ho ho. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Har 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 har. Pirate, pirate. To the lighthouse now. Yeah, so Katie doesn't want to call the sheriff. Jenna doesn't want to call the sheriff. I guess everybody in town just doesn't like the sheriff. Oh man, I have to solve this puzzle every single time. Ugh. Oh well. All right, let's hope I picked the correct light bulb. It's rusted shut. Perfect. Okay, now it shouldn't be rusted. And uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. That was the correct light bulb. Great, now let's send the message. It's 
a lot of flashes, but Hilda is really, really good at, at Morse code, so she gets Nancy's phone number right away. Hello? Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. It's not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsors. Hilda is really cool. I wish she reappeared in one of the other Nancy Drew games. I, I like this character. How did you know my name? Where there's a will and a satellite internet connection, there's always a way. Oh, great. She's been stalking me on the internet. What's the other secret you said you had? Patience. As in all good films, all will eventually be revealed. In the meantime, I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. How did you get my email? That'd be great. No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me. Someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! Alrighty, so, we got the email, um, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of pressed for time, so I won't solve the puzzle, like, 100%. Is that okay? It's, it's like a seven-part scavenger hunt puzzle, which gives us coordinates. I don't know how many parts there are, um, okay, it's a five-part scavenger hunt puzzle. Whatever, it's, it's a good scavenger hunt puzzle. So the stuff started defrosting yet. I guess it's later on in the game when the stuff really, really defrosts. I'll, 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 I'll keep checking it. Oh yeah, and we could totally check Nancy's mail throughout this entire game. So, the number of nuns surrounding Snake Horse Harbor, the ID number of the buoy with graffiti, isophase buoys, how many dollars Jenna charges for a club cup of clam chowder and number of cairns in the tunnels so definitely a complicated puzzle we could look up all that information right now but like i said i'm pressed for time so i'm just gonna skip through okay 48 um now ah, what's the solution okay 48 42 485 1 2 3 0 8 7 3 5 08735 Okay, so that by solving it like that I saved what 10 minutes You would have to go through like the tunnels. Well, I mean, I would guess on like the Cairn one Basically when you've got a puzzle like that you can guess on like the hardest one uh, If you've got all four of the numbers then just guess on the, <laughs> the ones you don't have and, uh, yeah. Fifth one's gotta be one of the digits from one to five. Found it. I don't know when it opens yet. Woohoo! Hello? Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. Somebody said I need to call Casey back, and that will make the stuff in the freezer melt. Okay, we'll do that. Right after we finish talking to Hilda. You're watching me? Right now? I told you I would be. I always keep my word, Nancy. I think it's the least human beings can do for each other. Now, here's your next mission. Listen carefully. I hope you like poems. <clears throat> Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. Not that I'm complaining, but wouldn't it be easier if you just gave me whatever it is you want me to have? Were I to simply give it to you, you might just turn around and toss it away. But if I make you earn it, you'll feel like it's yours and use it properly. Now, where was I? Ah! The device you just found, it'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions. She just hung up on me. Don't 
don't think there's a way to speed through uh, this particular challenge. Let's call not Casey right back. Now. What do you mean, not right now? I love how picky Nancy is about where she can make phone calls. Like, I can't do it here, but I will take one Hi, step backwards and do Any it luck here. Any finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago, right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor, about a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. I knew it was too good to be true. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it, just not possible. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. <laughs> I like Casey. He's a fun guy. He, he's funny. He's funny. He's funny. All right. Where's and yes, water coming from? we need to call Casey because that that makes this thing melt. Pee. And it's Atlantic herring. What? So the Atlantic herring is is Katie's? What's up? Are you aware that there's a whole lot of fish going bad in your freezer? Of course I am. Whoever tore up my engine damaged my wiring, too. Refrigerator's out, freezer's out, TV's out. Your refrigerator looks just fine to me, but whatever. It's herring, if I'm not mistaken. The same kind of fish orcas in captivity are fed. All right. I've been feeding the orca okay, but I'm not the only one. I can't afford to feed her much, and there's not enough natural fish in the channel for her to exist on, yet she's doing fine. Which means someone else is feeding her too. You know, this is not a good time for me to be trying to entertain a house guest. How about a rain check? Wow, okay, Katie's just kicking me out now. No problem, I understand. As soon as I get this fixed, I'll take you to the mainland so you can catch a flight back to River Heights. I'm sorry, Nancy. Wow. Yeah, okay. So that's the explanation for the fish in the freezer. It, it, that's it. Katie, Katie was the one with the fish. Where am I going? Hot Kettle Cafe, right. We're going to be exploring underground. Alrighty. That really is a mean, mean of Katie. But yes, I am, I am glad we got an explanation for the, for those those fish because I, I like I said I didn't know that that was even there that scene was even there like the first five or so time I played the game so I thought the fish was just a random red herring if you will so I need to find uh, I went the wrong way camping gear is the last thing I need right now I guess Nancy doesn't need camping gear See, I go left. Nope, not left. It's right. I 
Yeah, Nancy points out you're breaking the law, Katie, and then Katie just immediately kicks you out. She's like, you know what? I don't need any I don't need any visitors right now. Why don't you just go home to River Heights, Nancy? Why don't you stop breaking the law, Katie? So here is the Amble Rock that Mayor the the mayor an mentioned. Up there. It goes to another tunnel. And the letters are hard to find. So port, starboard, port, port. So it's gonna be left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, left, left. So those are the new coordinates, and now we need to go backwards, right, right, left, right, right, left, 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 right, right, I guess that's the tricky one, <laughs> left, left, and then right to exit. You can get caught in that maze if you're not careful, that is in fact an actual maze. And then we'll just type in those coordinates once we get back to reality. <laughs> I don't know where we are. And the exit is this one. We're just underneath the middle of town. So the coordinates were 43, 48. 42, 522, 123, 08, 799. That waypoint is right there in the bay. Harbor, harbor, it's not a bay. Whales rule! Okay, so we needed to go to that place on the GPS. Looks like it's here. Or not. Yeah, right here. So I use my zap tracker here. And there we have it. It's a lunchbox. Hilda? Uh-oh, I'm getting predictable. This really will be our last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the home stretch. No, but, 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 Hilda... What if I told you that I'm not going to do anything else until you tell me why this is so important to you? Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything, we wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat in the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. But something just doesn't make sense to me. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the San Juans, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor... I got tired of them, so I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottles. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I, you, thank you, Nancy. 
Goodbye, Hilda. Well, that's Hilda. We're not gonna see... We're not gonna hear from her again. It's very sad. Alrighty. What am I doing now? Um, we are going to go to Whale World. We're going to use those binoculars there. I, I guess she wanted to move away from the island because everybody hates everybody there. The people of Snake Horse Harbor, they're just boring. All Jenna does is make, make clam chowder. Pfft, who wants that? And Andy, he won't shut up about his whales. There are some kind of symbols on those sails. All right, we need to get those three symbols. Hi, Nancy. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. Apparently all they took was food and boat parts. Sounds a lot like those two other burglaries. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Will do. I just came here to take a look at your, your uh, little buttons there. I can understand Hilda just she's like I'm retired I want people to leave me alone I don't want to deal with anybody else ever again okay oh man we need to pull the lever from the inside what was it was it three four seven five yeah that was it I mean I I'm fine with the way the lighthouse is but it does reset like the puzzles here every time you come, and that's a little bit of a pain. Maybe we can assume Nancy is just locking the doors behind her. She's just being a very good detective. I'm not sure. Well, here's our puzzle. It's star. Now we need to get the other symbols, which I think were this one. No, it's... Those two. That gives us this top secret hiding area that Benjamin Hawkins used. I wonder where that goes to. I'm in the sea caves. It's in the sea caves. Yeah. Top secret retractable wall in the sea caves. Pretty amazing. have to wonder what Hilda would have done if Nancy hadn't shown up to solve her mystery puzzles. Would things have gotten so bad, would they have reached the point where Hilda just calls the sheriff and, and just tells him directly, tells him or her directly, what's going on? Alright, Sheriff Fancy Pants, there's somebody smuggling stuff. Or something. You need to stop them. We've got some bad dudes hanging around here. Wow, this must be where Benjamin Hawkins used to hide out. Oops. Oh my gosh! trained her. She's not wild at all. Yep, this is a trained whale, and that was a really cool plot twist, I, I think. The, the whale is helping the smugglers. The whale is pulling up all this smuggled cargo from the shipwreck. That piece of driftwood I found must have come from a container just like this one. Yep, that's, that's the story. Firestone! Those must belong to Katie! The culprits have Katie's glove! Or maybe Katie's the culprit. Maybe she wants to play catch! She's so cute.
Hello? Hi, Nance. We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. What? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here, it's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I played fetch with it. I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? In the cave, there were also some cargo containers. They were from the Whitechapel Dawn. You think somebody trained the orca to retrieve containers from that shipwreck? Casey the librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh! Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. All right, time to confront Katie. I know you were illegally feeding the orca, but it looks like your gloves were found at the scene of... Katie's gone! What? Oh, no! Yeah. Katie just flat out left. So that's not good. And what we do at this point is we go to everybody else and ask them for help. Unless I am 100% totally mistaken. Hang on, I'll be right with you. You again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Well, it's a long story. But Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. They won't do anything. I don't have proof. Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. Oh, come on, Holt. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason. Yeah. Katie did say she was going to take Nancy home, but nope, she just decided, forget it. I'm going all by myself to wherever. Where did Katie go? Hmm. We'll find out. We're going to board the culprit's boat in just a few moments. Because Andy Jason will help us. Thanks, Andy. Hi, Nancy. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? It turns out that Katie's been feeding the orca. You're kidding me. Think you could take me for another boat ride? Like right now? And pick up my kayak along the way? Kayak? Are you nuts? It'll be dark in ten minutes. And what about the fog? I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please. This is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Be careful. I'll be waiting right here. So Nancy kayaks out to the culprit's boat where the smugglers are, are stealing stuff. Whale's making her final dive. Good. The launch just brought in the last of the stuff that was stored in the sea cave. Another hour, and we'll be out of here. So about an hour, and they'll be done. All right. If the crew sees me, I'm done for. I need to hide in good spots. Like what here. Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. I love candy. Mmm, yeah. Beef jerky is my favorite like kind of candy. Burst. Hey, beef jerky isn't actually a type of candy. No, I love it. It's, it's great. 
Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Okay, I need to hide. Here, maybe? Avalon Project Sentry Salvage Corporation. Um, okay. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. Hmm. All right. I think that's it. We can escape. Yes. Good. We got past the crew. Now we need to go downstairs. That must be the orca I saw before. Hi, orca. Totally adorable orca. And here's some sort of cargo room. And who's this? Katie? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Katie's just a hostage on the culprit's runaway boss. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. What happened? How did you get here? I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up, and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. Shh. Listen. Someone's coming. Hide. Hide! Ah, okay, so Katie is not the culprit. Surprise, it's someone else. Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. All right, where are you? Nancy? If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. Yes, Andy's the culprit. Somebody stop her! Ah! If only Nancy had put that gag back on Katie, then Andy wouldn't have figured it out. Oh no, Nancy could have gotten away, she could have escaped cleanly. But nope. Ah! Say goodnight, Nancy. Now she has a, 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 a scary escape sequence, jeez. Somebody stop her! You want to run for the door. Run for the door. Oh no, I'm trapped! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident, or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, uh, okay. Throw this in the water. I throw it in the water. What did you do that for? Say goodnight, Nancy. Nuts. Way to go, buddy! Dear Ned, I've got to hand it to Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan, so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail, Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever, Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all, the orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans, and I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left, I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you-know-who saying goodbye. 
do 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 we did it, everybody. We beat the case. We are a puzzle master. Hooray! Hey, fellow detective. Ever been to a ranch? I haven't, but I've been invited to one. It's in Arizona, and it's called Shadow Ranch, and I can't wait to go. You're invited, too, but I should probably warn you, it could be a little dangerous. Nancy Drew, Secret of Shadow Ranch, the next game in the Nancy Drew series. Alrighty, so that's it for Danger on Deception Island. Hope you enjoyed the game. It's a really well-made game. I do like the, the scenery. It, it, it's really good. It definitely feels like it's part of the Pacific Northwest. I really want to eat that real-life clam chowder. I'm sure it would be great. The, the people who made this game obviously went and visited the San Juan Islands in preparation while making this game. They, they did their research, and it shows. It, it's great. Just have the credits running here. Yeah, I kind of want to do hunting for clams, like once or twice. I, w I wouldn't be doing it like Nancy trying to get 15. Those were some giant clam shells, by the way. I, I would feel a little. What do you call it? Intimidated trying to get 15 of those. Andy, Jason, and Casey, both voiced by the same person. Don't know if you picked up on that. I saw somebody in the chat mention he's the one who does Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine from the Haunted Carousel. That's true. That's true. Voices all three of those characters. The Whale Museum. So I guess that's where they went. They went to the Whale Museum in Friday Harbor, Washington. Deception Island is a fictitious island set among the very real and very beautiful San Juan Islands. We encourage you to visit them, but look out for Caddy! Y you don't want to get attacked by Caddy there. That, that, that would be, that'd be frightening. Okay, maybe I don't want to visit those areas. That would be scary. Thank you for watching, everybody! Check out my other walkthroughs. I mean, I did a walkthrough for this game. You can check that out. You can check out my other videos in this marathon. I've, I've done Nancy Drew marathons in like 2014. What was it? 2020. I forget the other one. 2018, maybe? 2019? I... Hmm. Anyway, this, I think this is like my fourth Nancy Drew marathon. Maybe next year I'll try marathoning something else, like the Sherlock Holmes games or something. I don't know. Bye, everybody. Have a very nice day. Look out for Caddy!